Hi, I'm Elisa Paselli from MyMac.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about a cool program called Mouse Pose by Boinks Software. What Mouse Pose does is when it's activated, the screen will dim and a bright spotlight circle will appear around the pointer, letting you really focus in on what you want your viewers to see. So as you can see right here, I have F5 set as my hotkey on my computer. So when I click on F5, you can see it will activate the circle. So I can really get people to focus in on what it is I'm pointing to. One thing you have to make sure of when you create your hotkey is that it doesn't conflict with any of the, hot crea the hotkeys created by system preferences because the system preferences will override any keys you create in Mouse Pose. And you can use any of the modifier keys, Control, Option, Command, Shift, to uh, come up with your hotkey, so there's plenty of choices out there, so no reason for any conflicts. So to continue, as you can see here, this will set the time of how long you want the, the circle to appear on your screen. This determines the size of the circle, so you can see the more I go to the right, the larger it gets. So this will be determined by what your needs are. Here you've got the circle blur, the higher the number, the more it blurs into the background, which uh, for my purposes, and I think for most people, the smaller the number, the better. And then this is the opacity, which determines how dark the background is when the, the circle appears on your screen. And I've just chosen to have it somewhere right in the middle. So that's how the mouse pose works. Over here is the mouse clicks, is another feature of the mouse pose program. Here I can decide if I want it to stand alone or if I wanted to work when Mouse Pose comes on, and I've decided I like everything to be separate, so I have it as standalone. The hotkey for me is uh, Control-5, so if I either Control-5 or if I activate here, what'll happen is when I click, you're going to see a red button, like that. This determines the size, how big or small it will be. If I left-click, it will be red. If I right-click, it will be green, and other clicks will be black. Now this here, animation, the more I click, as you can see, bigger and bigger circles show up. This will decide how long the circles show up on the screen. And this is nice for people who are visually impaired, play, click, sound. So you've got that audible representation of a click. So I'm going to turn that off for now and go to my favorite, the keystrokes, which I also have as standalone and I have set as F6. So if I click on F6 on my computer and let's say I click on Command C. Oops, I had that activated and I turned it off. Now if I click on Command C, you can see down here the Command C across the bottom of my screen. This is great for when you are showing something, uh, uh, a, uh, oh, I don't know, so you wanted, you were explaining how to copy and paste something and you tell people first click Command C and then click on Command V. As you do it, it shows up. So they can see exactly what it is you're talking about. Maybe they don't understand what uh, Control is. If you say Control C, they can see the symbol for that. This will determine how long it's on, on the screen. The font size will determine how big or small you want it to be. And then once again, the opacity, how dark or light it is behind what, what, what displays. Now the filter options here, if you click on this, will give you the options of giving you all keystrokes. So anything you type will show up down here at the bottom of the screen. The second one is if it's a modifier key, it will show up. I've chosen that I only want complete modifier key combinations such as cut, copy, paste, quit, and so forth. So you can see that here, but you can choose what works best for you. And then here are just some miscellaneous items. If you want to show the icon in the dock, the menu bar, or both. If you have it in the menu bar, it's up here like this, and you can see you can still get to anything you need to right here. And here it is down in the menu bar to activate. Now, Mouse Pose 
has a great help file built in right here. And if you've seen any of my previous videos or read any of my previous um, reviews, I'm a huge fan of help files, especially when they're built into the app. And this one is is really good. Really, It's concise, but it's very thorough, and it will explain in great detail all the different features of Mouse Pose. Um, it also works with Apple Script and speech recognition, which is explained in further detail within the help files. The um, Mouse Pose program requires Mac 10.4 or higher, though it is recommended that you have 10.5 or higher. And the developer strongly encourages users to try Mouse Pose before they purchase it, just to be sure it's exactly what you're looking for, and it will work with your particular um, your particular OS, especially if you're using 10.4. Um, Mouse Pose is $16.99. It's on the Boeing Software website, and um, it's 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 a really I I really like it. I wish I had gotten it months ago. It's uh, if you're the kind, like I said in the beginning, if you're giving presentations, if you are doing video podcasts or any kind of video tutorial, and you really need your your viewers to focus in on what it is that you're pointing to, this is an ex definitely an excellent investment. And uh, I give it a mymac.com rating of nine out of ten. So once again, this is Elisa Paselli from mymac.com, and I will speak to you soon.